Welcome back to Storytelling. Today I am going to tell you the story of Joe Lyons' Big Boots. Chapter 1 Joe Lyons was small. He was the smallest in his class. He couldn't even reach to feed the goldfish. It's only me who can't reach, said Joe. He was the smallest in his family, too. Big brother Ben could reach the biscuit jar, ECPC. Sister Susan could reach it, ECPC, too. But Joe, he couldn't reach it, not even on tiptoe. I am fed up with being small, he said to mom and dad. I was small once, said dad. He will grow bigger one day, mom told him. But Joe wanted to be bigger now. I will wish myself bigger, he said. He shut his eyes and wished. He was still wishing when he went to bed. But the next morning, he was the same small Joe Lion. Wishing had hadn't make me bigger, he said. I will have to think of something else. He went to the big comfy chair where he did his thinking. But what was this on the chair? It was Mom's new book, How to Grow Some Flowers. Aha! grinned the Joe. That gives me an idea. <laughs> big Brother Ben had a how-to book. Just the book, Joe wanted. He raised it up to Ben's room on the bed. He saw the book, How to Build Yourself a Bigger Body. Joe read through it in a flash. To get bigger, he had to eat lots of food like pasta. Mmm, yum. I have to work out too. He said Joe. I know where I can do that. Chapter 2 Joe ran all the way to Gus Gorilla's gym. Gus was big, very big. Working out seems to do the trick, thought Joe. I can't wait to start, he said to Gus. What do I have to do? You stand on this and run, said Gus. Joe ran on the running machine, puff paint. Then it was onto the exercise bike. After that, it was the rolling machine. <coughs> now leave this weight, young Joe, said Gus. Leave them good and high. Joe's arm etched, his legs etched, even his little finger etched. But he wanted to be bigger. He picked it up the weights. He lifted them good and high until a weight fell. Crash! Yikes! It nearly hit my foot. That's the end of working out for me, said Joe. But he was still de determined to get bigger. Now I'm not working out, said Joe. I will do lots of extra eating to make up for it. Whatever Joe went, whatever Joe was doing, it was munch crunch gobble. At home, munch, munch crunch gobble. At school, munch crunch gobble. On the bus, munch crunch gobble. And even in the bath, munch crunch and gobble. I must be bigger by now, said Joe at last. He went to have a look in the mirror. He didn't like what he saw. Oh no, he groaned. After all that working out and eating, he was bigger. Yes, bigger, wider. <coughs> but I want to be bigger, taller, said Joe. Sister Susan had got bigger, taller in just five minutes. He asked her how she did it. I put on my high-heeled shoes, he said. She said, aha, said Joe. Joe, that gives me an idea. Joe rushed to Henry 
elephant shoe shop. I need some shoes to make me bigger, taller. Is it? Boots are best for that," said Ari. Joe tried on lots of boots, but none of them made him as bigger, taller as he wanted. I can make you some," said Ari. But it will cost you, and it's money in advice. Joe paid Ernie. It's all the money I have got, but it will be worth it," said Joe. "I will bring them round. Delivery is free," said Ernie. Joe couldn't wait for the new boots to arrive, but at last, there was here's Ernie now for the big moment. Joe took the lead of the box. He took. He what? What? He took out his new boots and put them on. This is more like it," said Joe. He went up, went to show the others. Surprise, surprise! I'm lots bigger, taller now. They were surprised, all right. Too surprised to speak. Bigger, taller Joe could do lots of things he couldn't do before. He could reach the hall light. He turned it on and off just because he could. He could reach the roof to swing from. He could see over the gorilla's fence. His new boots made a great noise too. Clump, clump, clump. Next one, ring. I will call them my clumping clumpers," said Joe. "That's a good name for them," said Mom. But the next morning, Mom said, "You can't wear these things to school. I've got to wear them," said Joe. In his clumping clumpers, he couldn't. He wouldn't be the smallest in class. I feel like an ant that's turned into a giant," he said, as he set off down the path. Today was going to be his best school day ever. Chapter Four. Joe made his way to the bus stop. I like this bigger, taller me. He said. He was was co- closer to the sky, and could feel the sun better. He saw the bus coming. He ran and ran to catch it, or tried to. In his clumping clumpers, he could only clump, clump, clump. The bus went without him. Joe was late for school. Mrs. Croc wasn't pleased. I'm sorry, Mrs. Croc," said Joe. "It was my clumping clumpers." Can I feed the goldfish? He asked, but the goldfish was already fed. At break, he mates were playing football. Joe was good at scoring goals, but not in his clumping clumpers. Joe was glad to get home. Biscuit jar, here I come. He reached it. It easy peasy. Now to watch his favorite television program, Super Lion in Space. But then Mom said, "Hang up your coat, Joe. You can reach the hook in your clumping clumpers." And that was just the start of it. Joe could reach lots of things he couldn't reach when he was small. Joe Lion, like the kitchen sink, you can take a turn at washing up," said Big Brother Ben. <laughs> like the toy shelf. You can put your toys up there yourself," said Sister Susan. "Washing up, tidying up—that's all I've seen to do these days," said Joe. But he couldn't do much else in his clumping clumpers. Later, Joe's mates went off to the park. "Are you coming, Joe?" they asked. Joe shook, shook his head. He couldn't join in the games. I can only clump," he said. "I'm off for a walk." Joe clumped it off down the street, clump, clump, clump. But what was up was Joe's giraffe. 
He looks like he's in trouble," said Joe. Joe soon discovered that Giraffe was in trouble. Daffy, Daffy Giraffe, that I am. I've locked it myself out," he said. I came outside to pick some flowers, and I went, left the bath running. Joe saw the problem at once. He left to itself the bath. It will left to itself the bath will overflow, and Joe's house will, will be flooded. Joe spotted the bathroom window. It was open. You can get in up there," she said. Joe got his head in. But my ba- bottom half won't fit," said Joe. "The window was too small. Too small. Leave me to this," said Joe. He knew what he must do first off with his camping compass. Now it was Super Joe Lion to the rescue. Up the drain pipe and through the window. The li- the water was rising fast. And lots of soapy bubbles with it. I must act as once. Joe reached it for the plug. It was too far down. It, he would have to go in. He got up in the on the side of the bath and jumped. It. Splash! He couldn't see through the bubbles, and he, his breath is running out. But he must get the plug. Got it. He put the plug and out it came. The water glugged it down. Glug glug glug. Joe washed the bubbles out the window. Then he skimmed it back down the drain pipe. He saw a crowd had gathered. Mom and Dad were there, and brother Ben and sister Susan and Gus and Ernie and Mrs. Court and all his mates. They were waiting for news. Quickly, Joe told them, "Joe's house is safe from flooding, by bath water, and is safe from bubbles too." They all gave a cheer, hurrah for Super Joe Lion. Joe felt very proud. He was Super Joe Lion, just as he was. He didn't need his clumping clumpers. My clumping days are over," said Joe. Being being me is best. I don't want to be. Beggar. Well, not yet. G. Um. This story. The next story is Gg Rabbit and the Adventure. So join me in the next episode for this story. Yep. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and don't miss the next episode. Bye.